Grade 8 math number 11.1e, angle measures and linear equations. Well, to find unknown angle measures, we need to rely on the knowledge that right angles are 90 degrees. Complementary angles will total 90 degrees and that supplementary angles will total 180 degrees. We can find any unknown angle measure when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal if we're given one angle measure. The second supplementary angle plus the one angle measure we have will total 180 degrees. We also can find unknown angle measures by knowing the rules for corresponding angles, same side interior angles, alternate interior or alternate exterior angles. If you know what these are, it'll help you find a missing angle measure and prove that it's the correct measure, okay? So let's take a look at this drawing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with any of these, then you've skipped ahead and you should go back to 11.1a, okay? So we've got this drawing. We've got our set of parallel lines here. This is line A, B, and this is line C, D, and it's got transversal E, F that is intersected at points G, H. And we can see that the angle of B, G, H is 3x, and the angle of G, H, D is 10x plus 50. See that? We know because they're same side interior angles, the rule says they have to equal 180 degrees. So we can find each angle measure by solving a linear equation. We know that the measure of angle BGH, and if you see this M with this little angle sign here, that means measure of angle. So the measure of angle BGH is 3x. It tells us right there. And the measure of angle GHD, G HD, this green one right here, is 10x degrees plus 50 degrees. We rewrite them as a linear equation totaling 180 degrees, so it'll equal 180 degrees because they're same side interior angles and supplementary. So we have 3x degrees plus 10x degrees plus 50 degrees, and that's going to equal 180 degrees. Well, all we have to do is combine the like terms, right? 3x and 10x makes 13x. Now we add that with the 50 degrees, and, the, and it's going to equal the 180 degrees. Do you remember what we do next? To get x by itself, we're going to subtract 50 from both sides of the equation. Remember, it's like a scale. It balances what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So now, plus 50 degrees minus 50 degrees became a zero pair, didn't it? And that canceled out. So now we've got 13x degrees equals 130 degrees. See that? So now, if we divide by 13 on each side, we can isolate the x. So we divide by 13, divide by 13, and 13 divided by 13 gives us our friend, the invisible 1. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back to grade 7 math, and it's video number 6.2b. That'll tell you about the invisible 1, okay? And so now we've just got an x on this side. And on this side, we've got 130 divided by 13. Well, look, 13 divided by 13 is 1, and then we drop down the 0. 13 goes in 130 10 times. So the x equals 10 degrees, but we're not done. Remember, we need to multiply to x. It's 3x. It's not just x. So we need, for angle BGH, the orange one, we need 3x. And that's 3 times the x, 3 times 10. That's 30 degrees. That's what that one measures. The other one was 10x plus 50. So 10x is 10 times 10, because x is 10. That's 100, plus the 50 degrees is 150. So angle GHD is 150 degrees. When we add the 30 degrees to the 150, we get 180. Yep. Same side interior angles. They're supplementary. So we know this one's 30 degrees, and we know this one's 150 degrees. See that? And we did it as a linear equation. So don't accidentally put the value of x as the angle measure. You still probably might have to multiply it, okay? Sometimes you won't, but you usually have to keep multiplying it. And don't assume to know an angle measure just based on how it looks. We gotta do it by its, or just by its appearance. You have to have a proof from a rule like supplementary angles equal 180 degrees or same side interior angles total 180 or that corresponding angles will be congruent. So if the 
angles are corresponding, they're congruent, that would be proof. And in geometry, it's very important to be able to prove what you're doing, and they're called proofs, okay? We'll be getting into those more probably next year, and I have a whole huge playlist of geometry videos that's got proofs in it. If you're curious, you can go to Joanne School Geometry and type proofs and see what they look like, okay? So, we're going to move on, and I am going to show you the next unit, and... Uh, I might show you a parallelogram real quick and how we can find the angles in a parallelogram before we actually do the next unit. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye.